Now here's a Raquel RA7D Delta made for the USA in Britain. And um, I want to go over a couple of things here um, on how to use it because it is a little different than just about anything else out there. Now this was made back in the uh, probably in the early 60s or so and it's an early form of synthesized receiver. It doesn't have a lot of crystals. It has one crystal in it and from that crystal uh, all the frequencies are derived. So instead of switching in different um, crystals and with a band switch you're switching in basically different um, filters and so if you don't have the right filter selected you're not going to hear anything. So the first thing you want to do of course is turn it on with the power switch and um, as you're letting it warm up take a look and be sure the speaker switch is in the on position uh, if you don't have a um, external speaker. So the little internal speaker here is now active and we can hear a hiss and it sounds like it wants to receive but there is nothing there. There's 700 something and you look here it's 9 so that would be 9.6 megahertz. Okay let's say for example we want to receive 7 megahertz. We turn the megahertz knob to 7 and turn the kilohertz knob down to 0. And we still haven't heard anything. And there is an antenna connected. Now tune around here a little bit. This is not a switch. This is tuning. Don't hear a thing. So, first thing you'll notice is that the antenna range is setting on 1-2. That means 1 to 2 megahertz. Well, that ain't going to work. We're receiving, we want to receive 7 megahertz. So, we're going to have to go up to 4-8. Alright. Well, that didn't seem like it did much of anything. We adjust the antenna tuning. Don't hear anything. But look here. Antenna or antenna attenuator is on max. Well, we don't want any attenuation while we're setting this thing up. So let's turn it all the way up to min. And all of a sudden we hear a little increase in noise. Now we can kind of adjust our megahertz. Hear that? peeking right up. Now we can turn the audio gain down a bit. Now we can adjust the antenna tuning. There we go. Look at that meter. Alright. Now we're tuned to 7 megahertz. The BFO is off. We are in the uh, CW portion of the uh, handband. So let's turn the BFO on and let's tune the kilocycle knob. And there we hear somebody. So that would be 7 and this would be 30. So it's 7 0 3 0 7 0 35 would be right here, 7035. So this would be 7030, 7040, 7050, and on up to 7100, and so forth. Now, if you want to go to 8 megahertz, go up here, and we get a little bit of a rise in noise level there. Be sure that our antenna range is on 4-8, since we're we're still, well, we're not quite within that spectrum. So we need to go up to 8-16.
and then re-peak our antenna tuning and now we've got it and we're hearing 8 megahertz noises here there you go peak it okay now if the signal is too strong you're going to have overload conditions and there's a couple things you can do uh, if you're trying to copy CW you want to back your IF gain down some but you can also adjust the attenuator you'll find that on the AM broadcast band that once you get it set up usually minimum attenuation is not enough the front end will overload and that's why you have this here so you can back that down a little bit and you'll notice the noise level decrease and just be sure your antenna tuning is peaked up here so if you want to copy the broadcast band you would go down to way down in here you want to turn your BFO off be sure your AG, AVC is on IF gain is up you're going to be down in the uh, broadcast band here 1 to 2 megahertz be the upper side of the broadcast band Peak up your tremor and uh, have to figure out where it is first I believe this is the one megahertz so this would be uh, Now if you listen, we're picking up two stations at once, that doesn't sound too good. So we back the attenuation down some. Things get a little confusing down here in the broadcast room. I think we finally got it. <laughs> So we're right around uh, 1370 now. We're on the 1 megahertz, 13 antenna range is correct. We got plenty of attenuation cranked in. If you turn it up too far, you can hear some distortion and it doesn't sound too good. So you want to keep your attenuation cranked back as far as you can and still. Uh, have useful useful reception. And you, you calibrate it. Um, switch it to cal. And uh, zero beat it. And you can adjust your your slider up here. Um, that's a little stiff, but right there, it's set on, on 500, so that's a 100 kc calibrator. So now, there's a station on 1460. They've got a wide band position here, and uh, that kind of disables your, your tuning, and uh, I, I think maybe that would be okay initially when you're trying to set it up but I don't think you want to operate it there full time also note that I have the S meter uh, position selected here on the, the monitor that way I can tell when I've got the strongest signal okay thanks for watching